A charged particle accelerator is a complex machine that takes elementary charged particles and accelerates them to very high energies. Accelerator physics is a field of physics encompassing all the aspects required to design and operate the equipment and to understand the resulting dynamics of the charged particles. There are software packages associated with each such domain. There are a large number of such codes. The 1990 edition of the Los Alamos Accelerator Code Group's compendium provides summaries of more than 200 codes. Certain of those codes are still in use today although many are obsolete. Another index of existing and historical accelerator simulation codes is located at Topic. Single particle dynamics codes For many applications it is sufficient to track a single particle through the relevant electric and magnetic fields. Old unmaintained codes include, beta, AGS, Align, Comfort, Design, DIMAD, Guinea Pig, Harman, Lego, Liar, Magic, MARYLIE, Patricia, Petros, PLACET, Racetrack, Sync, Tracy and Variants, Transport, Turtle, and UAL. Maintained codes include Topic. Columns Spin tracking Tracking of a particle spin, Taylor maps Construction of Taylor series maps that can be used for simulating particle motion and also can be used for such things as extracting single particle resonance strengths, collective effects the interactions between the particles in the beam can have important effects on the behavior, control and dynamics. Collective effects take different forms from intrabeam scattering IBS, which is a direct particle-particle interaction to wake fields which are mediated by the vacuum chamber wall of the machine the particles are traveling in. In general, the effect of direct particle-particle interactions is less with higher energy particle beams. At very low energies, space charge has a large effect on a particle beam and thus becomes hard to calculate. The above simulation codes do not handle low energy space charge effects. See below for a list of programs that can handle low energy space charge forces. Synchrotron radiation tracking Ability to track the synchrotron radiation mainly X-rays produced by the acceleration of charged particles, extensible object-oriented coding to make it relatively easy to extend the capabilities. Topic. Space charge codes The self-interaction of the charged particle beam can cause growth of the beam, such as with bunch lengthening, or intrabeam scattering. Additionally, space charge effects may cause instabilities and associated beam loss. Typically the Poisson equation is solved at intervals during the tracking using particle in cell algorithms. Space charge effects lessen at higher energies so at higher energies the space charge effects may be modeled using simpler algorithms that are computationally much faster than the algorithms used at lower energies. Codes that handle low-energy space charge effects, including computation of growth values and instability thresholds, include Astra Tranft MB-Track Orbit Purebit Synergia Impact Opal GPT VSIM Tracewin Warp CST Studio Suite at higher energies, space charge effects include Tushik scattering and coherent synchrotron radiation CSR. Codes that handle higher energy space charge include BMAD Elegant Marilai SAD Topic. Impedance computation codes 
An important class of collective effects may be summarized in terms of the beam's response to an impedance. An important job is thus the computation of this impedance for the machine. Codes for this computation include ABCI ACE3P CST Studio Suite GDFIDL TBCI VSIM Topic. Magnet and other hardware modeling codes To control the charged particle beam, appropriate electric and magnetic fields must be created. There are software packages to help in the design and understanding of the magnets, RF cavities, and other elements that create these fields. Codes include ACE3P Comsol Multiphysics CST Studio Suite Opera VSIM Topic. Lattice file format and data interchange issues Given the variety of modeling tasks, there is not one common data format that has developed. For describing the layout of an accelerator and the corresponding elements, one uses a so-called lattice file. There have been numerous attempts at unifying the lattice file formats used in different codes. One unification attempt is the accelerator markup language, and the universal accelerator parser. Another attempt at a unified approach to accelerator codes is the UAL or Universal Accelerator Library. The file formats used in MAD may be the most common, with translation routines available to convert to an input form needed for a different code. Associated with the elegant code is a data format called SDDS, with an associated suite of tools. If one uses a MATLAB-based code, such as Accelerator Toolbox, one has available all the tools within MATLAB. Topic. Codes in applications of particle accelerators There are many applications of particle accelerators. For example, two important applications are elementary particle physics and synchrotron radiation production. When performing a modeling task for any accelerator operation, the results of charged particle beam dynamics simulations must feed into the associated application. Thus, for a full simulation, one must include the codes in associated applications. For particle physics, the simulation may be continued in a detector with a code such as GEANT4. For a synchrotron radiation facility, for example, the electron beam produces an X-ray beam that then travels down a beamline before reaching the experiment. Thus, the electron beam modeling software must interface with the X-ray optics modeling software such as SRW, Shadow, MCX Trace, or Spectra. BMAD can model both X-rays and charged particle beams. The X-rays are used in an experiment which may be modeled and analyzed with various software, such as the Dawn Science Platform. Ocelot also includes both synchrotron radiation calculation and X-ray propagation models. Topic. See also. CARE HHH Codes Repository List of codes from UCLA Particle Beam Physics Laboratory <laughs>